Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's daily market update. I'm Chief Analyst Raya Fox here at Options XO headquarters in the UK. It's just about 9:30, bottom of the hour. August 20th, 2015. Let's take a look at the early morning announcements on Forex Factory. We can see Swiss franc trade balance came in staggeringly above forecasted. We see actual 3.74 billion, and that's higher also than the previous 3.51 billion. You can see trade balance has been actually improving uh, over the several years for the franc. So we see much, much greater than expectations for the third, fourth, fifth week in a row. Also, German PPI month on month came in 0%. That's still positive for the euro, but that's only going to carry the euro slightly as we see uh, results from this morning's charts. FOMC member is going to be speak. He spoke actually earlier this morning, but more importantly, coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to hear from UK retail sales for the previous month. Expectations is 0.4% with the previous a negative 0.2%. Also, Spanish 10 year bond auction expected to be announced at some point today, but more importantly, later on this afternoon at 1.30, we have important US dollar announcements as well as Canadian announcements. We have wholesale sales for the previous month forecasted at 1% for the Canadian dollar, but unemployment claims, existing home sales, and the Philly Fed man at manufacturing index coming in at 1.30 through 3 o'clock with expectations respectively 1% for the unemployment claims, uh, excuse me, 1% for wholesale sales, 272,000 for unemployment claims, existing sales 5.545 million. We can take a look at the previous history on the unemployment claims just to get a quick glance at what the progress we've seen so far since the beginning of 2014, a very steady decline there, and we're expecting 272 with a previous 274, so expecting a slightly less on the unemployment claims. If we see anything less than 270 or 271, we're going to see a very positive impact for the dollar. It's going to bring euro dollar down, dollar yen up, pound dollar down, and also gold down potentially. But more importantly, if we take a look at gold, gold has actually made a huge comeback. We can see that earlier this year, uh, excuse me, earlier this month, we were down at almost 1080, 1070 at one point here on the 24th of July. Now look at where we are. We're at 1137, folks, and rising. And that has a lot to do with weak demand in China, as well as the currency slowdown and the yuan as well. So we're seeing a pickback on gold. Where we are with other assets, euro dollar at 1.11 and rising. Euro pound also rising 0.710. Euro yen also rising 137.97. Pound dollar down 1.565. Dollar yen up 124.04. Australian dollar down 0.72912. Crude oil, you can see we're still at $41.05 per barrel here on the daily chart for the oil. You can see if we take a bigger picture of the oil, we had a low here of about 41.97. That was back in March. We take a look where we are now with the low of almost 40.34 from just yesterday. So now we're back up to 41, but this is unlikely to change. We're expecting to see oil prices drop throughout the rest of the year. That's today's Daily Market Update. I'm Chief Analyst Ryan Fox. You can check us out on YouTube by searching Daily Market Update Options XO and finding our Daily Market Update playlist where you can check out more of the Daily Market Updates. That's all for today, folks. Have a great day and enjoy the trades.